A true music icon is getting ready to take the stage in the Twin Cities next week. John Oates is one half of the most successful duo in rock history, Hall and Oates. You know the tunes, Man Eater, Sarah Smile, and I Can't Go For That, just to name a few. John Oates made Chris Schaefer's dreams come true during his this chat from his recording studio. In my mind, you've done it all. I mean, you're in the Hall of Fames and you've got so many hits and you've brought so much uh, joy to people's lives just driving down the road, hearing your songs on the radio. Uh, but you were working on something right before you popped on. What, yeah, keeps, sure you what keeps you going at this point? Um, I just really, um, I, I have a great respect for the success that Daryl and I have had. And, the, and and a really great respect for that. That's what that success has allowed me to do. That success has allowed me to be, have total creative freedom. It was fun for me to look at your history of visits you've made to Minnesota. You're no stranger to coming up here to the northern part of the states. Uh, one of your first shows was at the University of Minnesota, a college show in 75 when you had She's Gone and Sarah Smile. Uh, you did a Halloween show. I'm really big into Halloween. That was at the St. Paul Civic <laughs> Center in 81. My favorite by far, though, in 1996, you came to Mystic Lake Casino in Prior Lake. I was dating this beautiful, smart, funny girl. We both loved your show, and I married that man eater. I mean, that uh, <laughs> woman two years later. <laughs> She's a okay. tough cookie. There's no All doubt. Right. Uh, but well, your congrats, show was... congratulations. I'm glad. I'm glad uh, we could have been a very small help. I hope you never get tired of hearing that you're part of the most successful duo of all time. That's just incredible. Uh, and it's fun for me to be sitting uh, you know, digitally across from half of that. It's a common misconception that we're even a duo because we're not. Um, we're basically two independent musicians who work together and we, we see ourselves that way. Um, and it's very work fantastically together too. We spent 50 years creating a legacy of music that we're really proud of and that obviously has resonated with generations, as you said, with your kids and everything. Um, but really that's all, as far as I'm concerned, I, I, I keep moving. Um, that's all behind me now. But played a U of M campus, you played the biggest theaters and stadiums. Is is it more fun, um, I'm trying to find the word, maybe more intimate to be in the smaller clubs where you can see the eyes all around you? It's a defi definitely a different live experience, there's no doubt about it. There's nothing that can, that can uh, you know, match the uh, excitement and the energy and that, that comes from a big venue, you know, with a lot of people, you know, uh, there's an energy there that, and especially playing with a, you know, a rocking band, a full band, you know, with the volume and, and all the videos and lights that go along with it. But there's also a really amazingly satisfying thing to do, to sit with your instrument and break it down to the most essential level. And that's what I'm doing on this tour that I'm doing. Um, it is as basic as it gets. It's I play guitar and sing. That's it. And, and it's really a show about uh, my history, my, my history as a musician. If people come to this show and expect to hear a redo of Hall & Oates hits, they're going to be very disappointed because that's not what I do. I do, I do play a few of them. But um, but I don't. It, it, that's really not what the show is about. The one thing that uh, jumped out at me is just how your music is so generational. I was born in 1970, grew up in the 80s, grew up with all of your music, of course. And uh, my daughter is texting me right now because I wanted to show this to you. Uh, we had an 80s party for our family. I have twin daughters that are 21, and another daughter who's 20. So we had an 80s theme party. And they were thinking about oh, no. this, <laughs> right? It's so funny. It's so funny. I've, wow, that's actually a really, they, they really did it right. So, well, uh, here's them as you. <laughs> they got it down. They got it down. How fun. He was really great. I mean, very matter of fact, uh, almost strikingly so when you talk about them being Hall and Oates. He's yeah, kind of like, like yeah, and then, I'm John I'm, Oates, he's Daryl Hall. And I'm but moving forward. Yeah. Yes. And I move, are they friends? They're very much so friends, but he, he kind of alluded to, I don't think there's going to be another Hall and Oates tour. Daryl yeah. does his thing, 
John does his thing, but boy, together they were so good. Yeah. To think that these two incredibly talented musicians came together and made what essentially is a super group of, of solo artists, yeah. and yet there's still more paths to be explored, and they don't even need to lean on the old stuff yeah. that can move yeah. forward alone. That's pretty incredible. And, and just the their sound, how, you know, She's Gone and Rich Girl had a sound in the 80s, you know, with Man Eater and Out of Touch was so poppy sounding. I, listening to him, it sounded a little country. Is that what he's doing? Yeah. Yeah, he, he basically says his first song he does solo is when he was a little boy, the kind of music his mom would listen to. He plays soul music, and then he goes through kind of the acoustic sound of and what Hall & Oates was. Yes. He does do a few Hall & Oates songs. He does. A uh, couple things he talks about, if you see the full interview, I had to ask him about that killer mustache. Yeah. <laughs> he, I said, are you in the Mustache Hall of Fame? He goes, I am. Uh, apparently there is one. I didn't know this. And, and another cool tidbit, he was in the We Are the World song and oh, video. Oh, yes, wow. yes, yes, yes. I asked him about that experience. He did not have a solo singing. Daryl, uh, the other half, did. But he's in the chorus, and he has some very cool observations about that night. And that's in the full interview. It? It's in the full interview. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you're going to leave us hanging? I wish okay. I had time. I'd okay. tell you all about it. But yeah, <laughs> it, it, it's some pretty cool oh. stories. All right. We'll have to look at that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. John Oates is performing at the Dakota in downtown Minneapolis Monday evening. You got two shows, 630 and 830. Tickets are 65 70 and $75. There are still some available. Maybe a good date night.